Hi guys and welcome back to Remote Learning with Mrs. Camacho. How's everyone doing? Well, we're going to go right into our next season that we're going to be learning about. And just to recap, we've learned about um, f what the four seasons are. So let's name those, okay? F winter, spring, summer, and fall. Very good. And we were already went over three of those seasons. We went over the winter season. We went over the spring season. And we went over the summer summer season very good so what we're going to talk about today is the next one can anybody guess which one that is if you said the fall you are correct it, does anybody know another word that we use um for fall season if you said autumn you are correct so today we're going to be talking about that season and we're going to um talk about the characteristics of the season and we're also going to identify in the ways that that season affect the way that we dress and the activities that we do so the first thing we're going to do boys and girls is we're going to go over um some of the vocabulary words that you're going to need to know to better understand the video now you just need to hear the vocabulary words i don't need you to know how to spell it out or try and write it out so we're just going to go over them okay so listen the first word i want you to repeat is the word chill can you say the word chill for me good that is a cold feeling so for example in the evening there was a chill in the air and i was glad i had brought a sweater with me the second word we're going to go over is the word progresses can we say the word progresses great that means to move forward or to continue on with something. So for example, the students learn more and more as the school year progresses. And then the next word is, the next and the last word is shed. Can we say the word shed? Very good. And shed has two meanings, but in today's meaning, it means to drop off to fall off or to take off so for example the trees shed their leaves in the fall okay so now we're going to move on into the uh, read aloud so i want you to listen very carefully to the read aloud because i need you gonna, you're going to need to know how to answer some of the questions at the end okay so so far we've learned um that the world um, experiences different types of weather um, in the different parts of the world. Again, we live in the North Continent of the world and within the North Continent, we have the United States of America. So our country is the United States of America. And in our country, we have 50 states and the state that we live in is the New York State. Right, the New York State is in the North eastern part of the united states okay so when we receive or we uh, experience rather the four seasons in our state okay so we're going to move into the read aloud so i want you to listen carefully to the topic which the topic is the if you said fall season you are correct what's another word that we use to describe the fall season if you said autumn, you're correct. Very good. So I want you to listen carefully for the details about how the weather changes from summer to autumn, okay? And I want you to be able to start thinking about what the characteristics are for the season and the types of clothing that people wear and the things that we can do during the season, okay? All right, listen carefully. I am going to now put the camera to the screen so that you can see the images, okay? Dear kindergartners, eventually the warm weather of summer ends and autumn begins. Kids are back in school in autumn. Autumn officially starts in the middle of September and includes the months of October and November. By autumn, the air becomes cooler than it was during the scorching or very hot summer months. It might still feel warm on some early autumn days, but there's a, a slight chill in the air at night. And by the end of autumn, it can be really cold during the day and at night. Now take a look at this image. 
What clue in this picture tells you that it is autumn? If you said the leaves falling, you are correct. If you also mentioned that she's wearing a sweater and hat because the temperature is much cooler, you are correct. Good job. As autumn progresses, the days get shorter and shorter. The sun rises just a little bit later and sets just a little bit earlier each day. By October in Washington, DC, many of the tree, tree leaves don't look so green anymore. During autumn, most of the leaves on the trees turn from green to bright yellow, orange, red, or brown. It's so beautiful. Last autumn, my family took a trip to the mountains near Washington, D.C. to enjoy the colors. The air was so cool and crisp, and we had a great time. Look at this picture from our trip. The forest, as far as the eye can see, are bright with fiery colors. Look at all those beautiful colors we see during the fall season, boys and girls. This is called foliage. Within a few weeks after the leaves of many trees turn different colors, deciduous trees begin to shed or lose their leaves. Do you remember when we were learning about different types of plants and we learned about the deciduous trees, right? Deciduous trees are trees that leaves fall off. That's why another name for autumn is fall because autumn is when the leaves of deciduous trees fall to the ground. The grass is soon covered with a blanket of brown leaves. Do the leaves change color and, and fall off the trees where you live? Right, if, you, if they do, you can do the same thing that the kids in my neighborhood do. We rake up all the leaves into one enormous pile and then jump into it just for fun. We have to make sure that it's in the clean area, okay, boys and girls? The leaves make a soft, crunchy cushion. If you travel for a few hours outside of Washington, D.C., you will start to see farms. Autumn means harvest time for farmers. It's hard work being a farmer. All summer, farmers have been caring for their plants while they grow, watering them, and making sure the weeds and bugs of summer do not ruin them. Autumn is the time to gather the fruits and vegetables in the fields. When they're harvested, when they've harvested their crops, the farmers all get together for a really fun event, the county fair. My family goes every year to the nearest county fair and it's, it is incredible. The farmers all bring their best vegetables and animals to show off how good they are at growing vegetables and raising their animals. I took this picture of pumpkins at last year's county fair. The fair's judges are, had already come by and judged them. Which pumpkins do you think the judges liked best? How can you know? How can you tell? If you said because you see ribbons on them, you are correct. I wouldn't get so excited about the fair if it were only about vegetables. There are lots of other fun things to do like fun rides and all kinds of foods from cotton candy to corn dogs. Some people also take their chances playing games to win stuffed animals. Once I won a gigantic teddy bear. By early November, the air outside gets chilly in Washington DC. Sometimes the skies are clear and sunny, while other days are gray and cloudy. The wind blows more than it did during the summer. The autumn wind sends dry, crunchy leaves whirling and twirling through the streets and parks and whispers that winter is coming soon. Oh, what do we celebrate during the, the autumn season? Well, in late November, as the autumn season is gradually winding to a close, comes one of the most important holidays in the United States. Can anybody guess what holiday they're celebrating in this picture? If you said Thanksgiving, you're correct. 
It's Thanksgiving. On this day, people in the United States like to gather with their families and friends. In my family, my grandparents and cousins and uncles and aunts from all over, all over travel to have Thanksgiving dinner together. I always look forward to a grand feast of turkey and stuffing and potatoes, rolls and cranberry sauce with pumpkin pie for dessert. Wow, this is really making Mrs. Camacho hungry. Then my cousins and I play football in the yard. What are some of the things you do during Thanksgiving? Wonderful. Thanksgiving is very close to the end of autumn in Washington, D.C. By that time, the trees are bare, the leaves are raked, and air starts to feel very cold, especially at night. Once the trees look like this, you know that autumn is nearing an end and that it will soon be... What comes after autumn? If you said winter, you are correct. We are once again at the beginning of the cycle of the seasons. Now we've talked about every season and their different characteristics. What will I tell you about next? You'll just have to wait and see. Now, boys and girls. So we talked about um, what happens during um, the process from summer ending into the beginning of the next season, which is if you said autumn, you're right. And what's another way to describe autumn? Fall. Very good. So we, what I would like for you to do is to think about some of the characteristics of the fall season or autumn season. And what are um, some things that you can do during the season? What do we celebrate during the season? And what kinds of clothing, clothing can you wear during the season? Okay. Now, what changes do you notice as summer progresses to autumn? If you said that the weather gets cooler and the days get shorter and the trees changes colors, you're correct because those are all characteristics of the autumn season. Okay, now can you remember the holiday that was celebrated during the season? If you said Thanksgiving, you are correct. Now for this last question, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to give you some time to think about the question so that you can get the idea in your head on how you want to explain it, okay? Then you're going to explain it to the adult that's helping you with this assignment today. And then I would like for you to draw and write about it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the question. Are we ready? Which season is your favorite season of the year? And then why is it your favorite season? So you have to give me a list of reasons as to why that season is your favorite season. Now, what I want you to do is to think about how you're going to explain that to the adult that's next to you. So remember, you have to put your thinking brains on and think about how you're going to explain which season is your favorite season and why is it your favorite season. Then you can draw and write about it. Okay? And I can't wait to see your responses. See you soon.